This problem is from Cambridge Mechanics book. It's all about the connected particles, specifically objects connected by rods. So this is the first problem. A car towing a trailer travels along a horizontal straight road. The car has mass 1,500 kilograms and the trailer has mass 500 kilograms. The resistance to motion is 80 newton on the car and 20 newton on the trailer. The driving force produced by the engine of the car is 316 Newton. So we are asked to find the tension in the tow bar. So if we're going to have uh, problems like this, as always, it is always a good idea to start with the diagram. So showing the forces. As what the rules in connected system so we can apply the Newton's second law to the entire system or to the individual component of the system. So it is uh, easy to consider the entire system when we will be solving for the acceleration. So if we're going to start, so we need to have the diagram. So let's draw the diagram. So for example, so we have here, let's say the car. Okay, suppose this is our car. And then next we have the trailer. Let's say the trailer will be here. Trailer. Now, so this is uh, objects connected by rods. So we can say that here, suppose this is our rod. Now going forward, we have our 360 Newton. This is the driving force given on the problem. So the driving force is 360 Newton. Now, again, this diagram that I will be showing, this is the trailer and the car together. Okay, so we will consider them together. And then we're going to get, we're going to get the acceleration by using the Newton's second law. Now, based on the given, the mass of the car is 1,500 kilograms and then the mass of the trailer is 500 kilograms. So that's 500 kilograms, 500. Now, so we will be considering this as a whole system. So we can say that going downwards, we have here the weight which will be 20,000 Newton because in mechanics remember that acceleration due to gravity is 10 so that will be 2,000 times 10 so the weight will be 20,000 Newton so also our R will be going upward so it's just the same with what we've learned in the previous chapters so here we have the total resistance is 100. So the total resistance will be 100 Newton. Why 100? Because based on the problem, the resistance to motion of the car is 80 Newton and the resistance to motion of the trailer is 20 Newton. So overall, the resistance is 100 Newton. Let me write that. So resistance. Okay, that is the resistance. So we are all set.
So let's now solve using the Newton's second law. So remember that Newton's second law states that the force is equal to the product of the mass and acceleration. So that's why we're going to have F is equal to MA. So F is equal to MA. Now, what are the forces? What are the forces? So we have here two forces. So the driving force is 360. So that will be 360 Newton minus the force that is in the resistance is 100. So that would be equal to 360 minus 100. We're going to have 2000 which is the mass times the A. Okay, so solving this, we're going to arrive with 260 all over 2000 is equal to our acceleration. So therefore, we can say that our acceleration will be equal to 0 0.13 meter per second squared. Okay, that will be 0 0.13 meter per second squared. That is our acceleration. Next, we are asked to find in the problem for the tension in the tow bar. Okay, so if we will be finding the tension in the tow bar, what we're going to do is that we need to make sure that the components must be treated separately when the internal tensions or thrust are required. Okay, so we need to draw separate diagrams to show the forces on the trailer and the forces on the car. So we need to draw two diagrams. So our diagram will be like this, so it's clear. Just made use of the image. Now this one. Let's move it here because... Okay, it's ready. Now, if we're going to draw it, the image must look like this. So as you can see, as you can see, this one is having a separate diagram. So this is the diagram for your car. This is the diagram for your car. So as you can see, if this is the car, so we have the driving force going on the right. We have the resistance of 18 newton which was given in the problem is going on the opposite direction at the same time we have here the t or we consider this as the tension so remember that on the first diagram that we had remember that these are connected by a rod so one will be going one tension will be going to the left and then later for the resistance it will be going to the right side so let's go back to the diagram of the car so again on the right is the force which is 360 newton on the left we have the resistance which is 80 newton this was given in the problem and also the t which is unknown and automatically since the mass is 1500 newton the weight will be 15,000 newton that would be 1,500 times then and then going upwards we have your R or the normal contact force next so this will be the diagram for your uh, trailer so the trailer have a mass of 500 that's why the weight is 5,000 newton that's 500 times 10 next going to the right 
we have the tension in tow bar. Going to the left side, we have the resistance, which is 20 newton. This was given on the problem. Now, so what we're going to do here is that we're going to resolve it. Okay, we're going to resolve it to the horizontal by using, of course, the Newton's second law. So we need, uh, remember that the car and the trailer will have the same acceleration. So that is the acceleration that we had a while ago, this one. We have 0.13 meter per second squared. So let's try to resolve. So we're going to resolve it. Let's start with the trailer. So take note, we will be using still the Newton second law, which is F is equal to MA. So still the same. Now, we're going to resolve the trailer. So that would be, so going to the right, we have force is T. Going to the left side, we have 20 Newton. So that will be minus 20 is equal to the mass is 500 times the A. On the other hand, we're going to resolve the car that will be equal to driving force is 360. Remember guys that if there is no acceleration, the direction will be going to the right unless it will be uh, written in the problem that it will be on the opposite direction. So that will be 360. Minus, so we have the resistance which is 80 minus we have the T which is going on the opposite direction because this is the tension in the tow bar. So that will be equal to 1500A. 1500A. Okay, that will be equal to 1500A. Wait, let me write it here. So 1500A. Now, Let's try to solve for the tension. So if we're going to solve for the tension, we can use uh, systems. So we can eliminate the A and solve for T. Or since we already have your acceleration, we can just substitute the value of A to the two given equations and solve for T. Well, specifically, the T must have equal value or if not, the difference must be uh, very minimal okay it must be very minimal but it's basically equal okay the best thing is it must be equal now let's solve for the t so we're going to solve for your t this will be equal to uh you can use your calculator here so that will be t minus 20 is equal to 500 times 0 0.13 Okay, so the T will be equal to 500 times 0 0.13 plus 20. Okay, so basically your T here will be equal to 85 Newton. The T here will be equal to 85 Newton. If you're going to if you're going to solve this, this one, this will also give you 85 Newton. So just make use of your calculator to solve it. Okay. So because this is positive, the T is positive, so we can say that this is really a tension. Okay. So that T here in the tow bar is really attention which is 85 newton because later if the problem will be asking if what is the force and you solve this way and you get negative we can consider that that is a thrust remember that there are two forces we have the pushing force and the pulling force so when we say pulling force that is your tension and the pushing force that is your thrust or your compression.